Hi guys, it's Mr. Keenan here. Welcome to the 30 days of creativity in Glasgow. And today we are going to be making a checklist and making a daily routine using photos from our camera. So the first thing we need to do is get ourselves on to the camera app. So now that I've taken some photos, my next step is to go back to the home screen and click into the Keynote app. So here we are, all ready to start our own project. So we're going to add the images that we took earlier. So you click on the add button in the top right corner and then we want to add photo or video. I'm going to click on recent because I just recently took those photos this morning. And then it's just a case of clicking on the photo that you want to put in first. Once you click the photo, it'll bring it up like this. You can double tap it to resize it, which is what I'm going to do. And you just drag the handles around which part of the photo you're interested in and then press done. And then you just move the photo around wherever you want to on your page. And then you want to do that for all of your photos that you have taken for your daily thing. So here I've added all my photos in that I've got for my day and I've added in a little extra one just to take up that extra space. So I'm quite happy with the position of all my photos and now I'd like to add text. So I'm going to click back onto the plus and believe it or not, you'll actually find texts in here, which is called shapes, the shapes section. That's where you'll find text. So just click on to text and it should add text onto your page. Now to format the text to the sort of style we want, we click on the brush, we choose style, and then I've just chosen one of their options. You can go into lots of different, different menus, but the best thing for this kind of thing is just to choose one of the standard options that are there. And I've just dragged over my text and I've tapped on it to change the text to label what I've got. Now to save a little bit of time, I'm going to click on my text and then I'm going to choose copy. And then I'm just going to tap in all these places and choose paste. And that's going to copy and paste my text underneath all the pictures I've made. And then I'm just going to click onto all of the different text boxes and change them to match the right pictures. So I'll call this one, take Archie for a walk. And now I'm quite happy with all my pictures and I've got lovely text to support all of the pictures. To add a title, I've just followed the same principle by copying and pasting the text. But to make my title a little bigger, I'm going to click on the top right hand side paintbrush and I'm going to click on to text and I'm going to change the size by clicking on the plus arrow. If you make it too big you can always click on the minus arrow to make it a little smaller. Well our little daily routine card is really coming together now so the next thing I'd like to do is add on checkboxes so that I can tick them off as I do them. So I'm clicking on to the plus icon so that I can add some, something else in. And I'm going to click on to shapes and I'm going to choose the little square shape. Now what I'm given is this blue square which I don't really like the style of. So I'm going to change that to maybe a white one to match in with my theme and a black outline around it so that it's easy to see. So we click back onto the paintbrush and I've just changed those styles by clicking into the style option. I changed my fill color, I turned borders on, and then I changed the width to one I really liked. And then I've just used that same copy and paste skill we learned earlier to put a little box on every picture. So I'm thinking I'm ready to save this as a picture. So to get this saved as a picture on our iPad, we click on the little dot 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 in the top right hand corner next to the battery percentage and then 
On that menu, we press export. We want to export as images and all of these settings are absolutely fine for us. So we're just going to press that export button and it should appear in our photos app. On the next screen, just choose save image. Now let's go and find our hard work. It should be in the photos app. So click onto that and there it is. So you can click onto the picture. Now, what's the fun in a checklist if you can't check it off and scribble all over it? So let's figure out how to do that. You want to click on edit in the top right hand corner and then we want to click on the dot 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 in the top right hand corner and then you want to choose the option markup which is a fancy term for scribble all over it and have a lot of fun. And it brings up all these tools for you so you can have a go at scribbling all over it. I've had a go at scribbling on mine. And when you're done, you just press uh, done and you're done. But just to be sure, you have to click this one, done again.